Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just uh, I am back from my trip to Tennessee and Texas, and uh, decided to show you some of the stuff that I found. Uh, where I live currently doesn't have a lot of used bookstores, so a lot of the pickups are uh, books. And almost everything that I'm going to show you, I think I ended up getting for a dollar. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's start with some laser discs. This movie I remember watching. It's called Sweet Liberty. Uh, remember watching it as a teenager, and but hadn't thought about it until I saw the front cover and went, "Wait, I, Alan Alda, I know that movie." So I had to pick it up. Uh, it also stars uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Yeah. I almost said Dean Caine. Should have been silly. Also found the laser disc of a Top Secret, which is just a very silly, silly movie. Uh, the rest of the uh, movies that I snagged, uh, this, uh, Transformers Beginnings, this apparently tells the, and I haven't watched any of these, this apparently tells the story of Transformers before the movies, which I look forward to. Uh, Transformers Cybertron, this had Starscream on the cover, so anything with Starscream gets my approval. And this is Transformers Energon, which, weirdly enough, the back looks like uh, older versions of Transformers, but there's that. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, the full screen. This movie, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, this one, which has a printed out uh, front label, the Black Ninja, working on the premise that the dumber the name is, the more fun it is to watch. Uh, this is the resurrected edition of uh, Resident Evil and Resident Evil Apocalypse. Uh, while I don't like the games as much anymore, I still like the movies, even though they are horrible and cheesy. They belong right out of the 80s. And that's kind of fine with me. Um, there's also one more, but I don't know where it went. Oh well. Uh, snagged Dishonored. Uh, for the Xbox 360. Have not played this game. Heard there are some problems with it, but decided to give it a go anyways. Um, this one I had, I kept seeing, kept seeing, kept seeing, and finally saw it for a dollar, so decided to pick it up after years of seeing it. And this is Major Knight Apocalypse. Um, still sealed. I'm gonna pop that in later at some point. This is Age of Conan Rise of the God Slayer. Uh, actually, snagged this and uh, took a look at it. It is okay. This is the, the MMO version. So, if you're in MMOs and you like Conan, uh, found this. Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Have never played this game. Uh, so, kind of a, a omission in my in my playing. Uh, found two games on for my Mac, which means I don't need to do any, any messing with it. Uh, Hexen 2 and Boulder's Gate 2. Both games that I remember fondly, but I haven't, I don't have a copy of and I haven't played in forever. Uh, picked up iPad. It was a dollar. I'm pretty sure that at some point my sons and I will get a big kick out of this. And until I'll pass time on the road trip, uh, I have an Xbox hooked up in the back of the truck and got this. Just Tao Fang. This is the, the, the. I remember this being hyped as like, this is going to be the next great fighting game franchise. And it came out and everybody went, eh? But it was actually fun to have. I uh, snagged this. Uh, for those of you who don't know what these little guys are, these are Roku's. Um, this is it's basically a little set-top box. You hook it up to your uh, TV, and it's got Wi-Fi and all kinds of fun stuff. And you basically plug it in, and then you can access Hulu, Netflix, whatever. And we have two of them. This is the third. This one's probably going to go out in the garage so that whenever we're working out, we can just watch TV or movies or whatever. This is fascinating. Now, this is, um, it has a price on it, but that's not the price that I paid. This is a 
fascinating little device. It looks just like a CD player, but it is actually PCMCIA. And I got it at uh, what is it? Electronic Discount Sales. Uh, they were going out of business, so everything there was ridiculously inexpensive. That I'm using to help fix a computer. This is a PCMCIA USB connector, so this way I can get USB ports on the things as well. Um, while I was also at that same place, I found this, which I was delighted to find. This is a SciTech, and basically what this is is that you plug this part. I get them confused, but you plug this part into your PlayStation 2. You, you set this part somewhere else, and it's wireless, or it's uh, radio signal. It's not infrared, so it doesn't matter line of sight. And then you can plug this in, you can plug the controllers in here, and that way you don't have to worry about somebody tripping over the cables, yanking your PS2 off of wherever you have it setting. Um, while I was there, I also snagged a uh, Game Boy Advance power adapter. For some reason, these are becoming scarce around my house, and on sale, this was a dollar, so I'll have one so we can charge those. These are extension cables for the Xbox 360. These are also replacement, uh, because the extension cable is just the... Um, the plug after the break, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, they work as just the ends. So if you lose the ends of the controller, that works fine. This is a selfie stick. Yes, I now own one. Uh, my my sons and I were running around taking pictures of everywhere we went in front of where we were, and she decided that I needed one of these to be able to get a better shot because we all kind of looked like <clears throat> leaning into the photo. Um, the same person who got the selfie stick also uh, was getting rid of a beautiful desk. Sadly, sadly, uh, we had no way of transporting up here. It was a beautiful roll top, all wooden. Oh, it's beautiful. But she found a uh, Palm TX handheld in there, handed it to me. The battery is dead, so I need to uh, eventually replace that and get it up and going. Um, found some more lovely Forgotten Realms book. To include uh, Baldur's Gate 2, The Throne of Ball, the book. So a novelization of a video game. What could go wrong? Um... I picked up some Robert Jordan books. They were a dollar each, and I didn't have them. Um, and also picked up this graphic novel series that I'm slowly reading through. It's uh, Legends of Persevan, and it's... I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's really odd. So if you ever, if you ever get a chance, give it a read, see if you like it. But um, found some nice guidebooks. Uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, which I just I love this the cover. And then take it off, the dust cover off. It's that beautiful little guy. Also, Warhammer Online Atlas, which I have. Uh, now know that it is this game is defunct, but there there are also all kinds of people out there that are running private servers, so it might be something fun to do. Also, the uh, official game guide. I don't know why I like game guides. I think it's the same reason that I like magazines and just that it feels of a time. Aliens: Colonial Marine. So I can finally finish that game. And. Let's see, Decidia Duodecim 012 Final Fantasy. And if you. It's a weird game. Look it up because I have no way to explain it. Um, and the only other thing that really snagged, uh, aside from some great things that my. Let's have all these. They came from calendars. They are. Uh, chimps just doing normal stuff. 
Don't see that as much anymore, I believe, because it's now considered bad form. I also got this, which is Tetris Link. Uh, this is basically, if you take... Uh, uh, turn that so if you take Connect 4 and mix in Tetris, it's kind of what you get. It's not exactly the... It's not good. I'll just leave it at that. But there are the pickups over the course of vacation. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about any of it or you want to see more about a specific thing, uh, go ahead and let me know. Thank you very much and play on.